Yo dudes, what's up man? Uh, got a request today. Here's the deal. Some guy wants to ask me, he goes, can you can you show the correct way of how to of how to uh, you know position the gun in your hand when you're firing and where to place your grip and all that shit? Well yeah, there there is a basic way to do that, but you gotta do it what's comfortable for you. But there is a basic way that you should do that. I'm going to show you what I do. I don't know if you can see me. Let me see something here. Right now, I'm, I'm carrying right now. I just came back from Dunkin' Donuts. No, I didn't have any fucking donuts. I'm fat. I just get coffee. <clears throat> and uh, I'm carrying my, uh, my HK right now. It, so you can't really fucking tell. I don't even know if the camera's pointing in the right direction. Zip. Right here, okay. So that's how I carry. This is where I carry. Four o'clock. You know what I mean? Look, this would be. Look, your dick's twelve o'clock. Your ass cheek's four o'clock. I carry right on top of the ass cheek because your back curves in. Even though I'm fat and I lost my shape, uh, my back still curves in a little bit. So the gun sits in there nice like a pocket. And believe it or not, when you sit down, you don't feel it, especially the HK. The HK is real comfortable, okay? And, uh, yeah, I label my holsters with guns. It's for the Glock 30, but they're so similar in size that they both fit. This is a shitty holster. I will get a nice holster. This is one of them fucking clip ones, nylon ones, and all that. But this is how I carry. This gun is loaded. There is not plus one. I don't do that. Not with the HK, I don't feel secure with it. But there's the HK, the slides are so easy to pull back. I mean, you can pull this out, just <laughs> rack the slide like that. Uh, the Glock, I will carry plus from because it has the safety trigger. Uh, 1911, yes, I will carry plus one. Uh, there's guns I will and there's guns I won't. This is one of the guns that I won't. Uh, no disadvantage at all. I, I feel just as comfortable not carrying plus one as I do. I'm not going into fucking combat here. That's how I carry. What I do is I wear a shirt, a white shirt on first, a wife beater, tuck that in, then I put my holster on, put my gun here, and then I put my shirt over it. Okay? That's how I carry. I'm going to pull it out. Now, see how I just pulled it out? Now this fucking holster is hard to reholster because it's not a good holster so you have to do this shit. I will get a good leather holster. When you, when you pull your pistol out of your holster, keep your finger on the outside, like that, and you want to pull straight up, okay, that's the first motion. Now I'm going to do this slow. It's going to seem ridiculous, but I'm going to do it slow, in slow motion. That's one. Next thing, two, you turn it up like that. This way, as soon as you take it out of your holster, you're already kind of on target. You don't want to do this shit, swinging it up. No, no, that's not good. Pull it straight out, twist your wrist up, that's two. Then you, you bring it forward. Three, this is the third. You bring your hands together, and then four, okay? And you don't put your finger on the trigger until you're ready, until you're absolutely on target. That's just a rough, I don't even know if I'm in the fucking lens. That's a rough draw. Uh, motion I'm showing you okay all right let's get back to sitting down I'm getting tired Whew. had a stromboli last night motherfucker was good oh it was good I'll tell you about this area in Philly man they got the best friggin food Jesus Christ that's why you gain so much fucking weight around here but I am doing good I'm eating one meal a day I eat what I want but just one meal a day I used to eat McDonald's for lunch and you know and, uh, fucking sweets in between and dinner and then dessert and then sweets and coffee all the way up till I went to bed and I went to bed I went to bed I look like a fucking seal <clears throat> anyway uh, uh, I want to thank uh, old Ephraim one for all his knowledge thank you very much I hope I said the name right I haven't said, I haven't gave you a shout out because I ain't sure how to say it. I think it's old E from one, if I'm correct. I might be wrong. 
Because I am a high school dropout, dumb fuck, but I think it's right. This is my HK, and uh, I'm going to show you what I do when I shoot. I'm going to clear the weapon first. If you have trouble, let me tell you something. If you have trouble getting used to the HK uh, magazine release, damn, I can't fucking talk today. Some dude said I look like uh, Z-Boy. Yo, dude, come on, man. Give me a fucking break. It was funny, though. No offense, Z-Boy, but we don't look alike. Uh, if you're having problems with the HK mag release, here's what I do. Uh, I get this finger and my thumb together and pull back. Get your thumb and your index finger and pull back. I mean, and you'll never have a problem. I, I really don't have to change the position of my hand. All I'm doing is taking my finger out of the trigger guard and work them both together. I mean, it's, it's like... I could do I could do this. All you have to do is find out a way to fucking do it. There you go. I found that a way. And now I have no problems with the mag release with the HK. Okay. There it is. It's clear. Okay. You don't ever want to slam a gun forward when it's empty. Okay. You don't want to do that with, unless there's a round in there. Or if you do it, use a snap cap because it's just not good. Metal smacking into metal. Actually, the round cushions that. I don't know if you knew that or not, just in case you don't. When you're firing a weapon, when you're firing a weapon, we already know there's not one in the chamber. Okay, let's do the uh, famous press check. <laughs> that is a press check, okay? And I'll do it slow to make sure it ain't going to pick that round up and put it in the chamber, and it's not, okay? All right. When I'm shooting, you put your... your uh, Dominating hand around the grip. Keep your fucking finger on the outs out of the trigger guard. You want to put just part of your palm, just part of your palm, in that dead space right there. Okay. Now, I I wrap my non-dominant hand, which is my left, around my dominant hand. Squeeze tight. Put my thumbs right on top of each other, like this, or like this. Some people can do that. So whatever you're comfortable with, I'm like this. I put my thumb there, okay. Then I go, then you 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 put your pistol on the target, okay. And you don't put your finger on the trigger till you're till you're lined up on the target. There it is. I put my finger on the trigger. And as far as lining the sights up, you can either line all three up. Really, the most important sight is the front sight. The back sight. Just gives you an idea how to be like the guns completely level and really lined up. But if you if you have to shoot fast, you just concentrate on your front sight. Put your front sight right on the target. Okay. Another thing, when you're putting your finger on the trigger, you don't stick your whole friggin' finger in there like this. Why? This is why I think your finger has a lot of a lot of flexibility and cushion here. So when when you're pulling the trigger. It'll give you a false impression. If you if you pull your finger out a little bit and just put your fingertip, let me do it with my left hand so you can see. Don't put your finger in there like that. You want to put your finger just with your fingertip, just hanging past the trigger. Okay, your fingertip is more is more hard than the center of your finger, so it gives you a more sensitive sensitive, a better feel for what the trigger is going to do. You don't want too much of a cushy, cushy feel because you really can't predict when the trigger is going to snap and fire. So if you watch the professionals, they don't stick their whole finger in there. They just stick their fingertip on there. Okay? That goes with all pistols, 1911s and all. All right? Uh, now that's the right way. I mean, if you don't believe me, you can. if you have the outdoor channel, put it on. There's a show called American Guardian. They're professionals. They show people and teach people how to shoot. Or you can watch the Sig Sauer uh, program where they, they have a trainee program where they teach people how to shoot. And uh, that's where I learned all this. And I learned it from one-on-one uh, uh, -on -one training too. So there you go. That's, that'll give you a good idea uh, how to hold a weapon and fire a weapon correctly. You practice like that, get rid of your bad habits and you'll be, you'll be a really good marksman. Uh, that's all I can come up with. I'm blank. Uh, I put an application in at a gun shop. 
I hope I get the job because it's a really nice gun shop, man. Uh, I'd rather them not know about my channel because I am a little vulgar and I don't want them to think I'm going to be like that with the customers. So, well, this channel could fuck that job up <laughs> if they know about it. But I don't think so. Okay, man. Let me know what you think of this.